guys we're continuing on unit seven today we're talking about molecular and empirical formulas um, a molecular formula tells us the actual number of each atom in the compound so this is what you're already used to seeing every time we see a formula it's just this is just what it is it's called a molecular formula so an example of that would be p4o10 that's telling me i have four phosphorus and 10 oxygen Covalent compounds are written using their molecular formulas. We also have empirical formula. It is going to be the smallest whole number ratio of the atoms present in a compound. So in other words, it's going to be the reduced or the simplified version of the formula. An example, we'll use P4O10 again. So if we're trying to get the empirical formula, we just need to simplify this into the smallest whole number ratio. So if I just divide both by 2, I would get P2O5. So that would be my empirical formula. So let's try a few more. Um, so I have C2H2. Can that be reduced? Yes, just CH. Next I have benzene, which is C6H6. Again, that can just be reduced down to CH. Next I have ribose, C5H10. I can divide both of those by 5 and get CH2. And then I have CO2. I cannot simplify that down at all. So that molecular empirical formula is the same for CO2. Determining formula from composition data. So you may see a question like this on a test. It says a compound made of two elements, iridium and oxygen, was produced in a lab by heating iridium while exposed to air. The following data was collected. So I have the mass of iridium, which is 1.26, and I have the mass, mass of oxygen or oxide, which is 0.21. So we first need to convert that into moles. So if you're looking at your mole map, if I'm going from grams to moles, all I need to do is divide by the molar mass. So I have the mass of iridium and I can divide and I get 0 0.0065 moles. I'm going to do the same thing with oxygen and I'm going to divide, convert that to moles. So it's 0 0.013 moles. Once I have those in moles, I need to find the smallest whole number ratio. So to find that, divide both numbers by the smallest number of moles present. So which one of these is smaller? Well, that's going to be iridium. So I'm going to divide both of these by that specific number. Okay? So obviously, if it's divided by itself, it's 1. And then for oxygen, when I divide that, the, small, the ratio is 2. So make sure you round up to a whole number. Okay. Um, so then I just plug in those numbers in red into my formula. So I have IRO2. That is your empirical formula. That is your smallest whole number ratio. All right, guys, so that's it. Um, go ahead and do your worksheets and work on your review and email me if you have questions.